Hey guys, so up to number 12, um, as you can see this is a dovetail joint, um, so I'm going to be working off this top face. Now, there are a couple ways you could do this, so you could do the outside net and then extrude that, or you could draw the rectangle and then cut out the triangles that way. So I'm going to have a go and see which way I want to do it as I move along. So, But still having in your mind the way to do it is really important. So opening up, got my page ready, so line, I'm going to do this one standing up, so I'm going to go across 30 millimeters and then go up 40 millimeters because from our drawing we can see that the dovetail angle takes up 10 millimeters of room so we're going to be going up 40 so once we've got that see it's still a bit small and we're going to have to zoom in okay going across 10 make sure we didn't snap to that 15 there where I wanted to go halfway just there um, so now what we're going to do I'm actually going to right click and go OK line we'll do the other side as well we're going to get up 40, and we're going to go across 10. All right, so now we're going, coming out this other side here. Um, now, I'd actually guess through the limited maths and woodworking that I have um, in my mind, that would be a 45 degree angle, um, but I don't actually want to guess that. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to create another line and go up 10 millimeters and then come down and then so once I've done that I can go straight across it's also going to be teaching you how guys how to use another tool so I've got that all set up but I don't want this line there anymore so if I right click and go OK because that's a standalone line that I've created here I actually just need to click on it and press delete and it'll go away um, if it's a long line that's got another line running through it. You can actually use the trim tool, but that wouldn't have worked there because it had no lines passing through it. It was just connected between that one and that one. So now I've got my dovetail joint done. Just like normal, we're going to extrude it, make it three dimensional. So choosing that. Um, before I actually do that, though, I might actually just double check. So, yep, the whole thing selected. Because I did have some green lines, and sometimes green lines means that things aren't connected or don't have a direct measurement, but that is quite it didn't move or anything when I got rid of that measurement to then delete that line before so it should be fine um, and then we're extruding that to be 20 millimeters thick so highlighting that to get rid of it 20 millimeters okay and that looks all fine and dandy and complete so then saving that one and we're up to number 12 all right save <coughs> 